Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today with our reproduction games experiment. Um, I'm here with the European Nightcrawlers, and it looks like I have a little bit of a fly problem, so I had to swat a whole bunch of flies away from here, so I'm gonna have to address that in some way today. But um, I wanted to get in here and hopefully see some more progress. So, it's our Euros. Hoping to see maybe some babies today. Cocoons would be nice. But it was encouraging last week to see a lot of progress. So I'm hoping that the trend will continue. There's one of our adults. He's nice and big. The material here is a little bit compacted, but once we have more babies in here, there's a cocoon. Once we have more babies in here, it'll definitely get better. Um, but that cocoon's gonna be hatching soon. It looks really nice. For me, this experiment has been like watching grass grow. It's been painfully slow, but um, trying to be as patient as possible because I know the worms, once they start hatching, it'll be much more exciting. But my worms decided to take their good old time starting to lay cocoons for us, so we just haven't had a whole, whole lot going on in here. But yeah, it's kind of similar to last week. I'm not seeing any wisps immediately. Um, we did see that cocoon, which hopefully will hatch by next week. It's nice and dark red. But the material does feel good. The moisture content is pretty, pretty good as well. Um, and I do think I'm going to feed all of these bins today. Um, I have some chopped up bell pepper that actually is still sort of frozen, but I'll put it in a corner and hopefully it won't bother them too much. It'll defrost quickly because they're small pieces, but um, I'm still impressed. I mean, it, it's frustrating, but everything does look nice in here. But what I'm gonna do, that's another cocoon. I am going to dig a hole down here in the corner. Clear it out all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of bedding, not a lot, because the more bedding in here, the harder it is to really spot the worms. So just a small little handful there. And I'm gonna add four pieces of this bell pepper that I have for them. Like, well, maybe I'll add a few more now. That's four. So that's seven, seven pieces. I'm gonna sprinkle some eggshell. I'm gonna cover it back up with these existing castings. And since I'm seeing a bunch of flies, um, I'm gonna moisten this down a little bit. I know it's already pretty wet. Um, well, it's not wet, but it's definitely moist, but I'm gonna put a nice, a thick layer of dry bedding across the top. So I want to moisten this down really well so that the compost beneath stays nice and moist so the worms can um, still work over to the food and keep making cocoons for us, hopefully. So lots of extra water. I'm making sure there's nothing standing in the bottom as I go. And there's our adults. Probably just really stress them out a little bit. Didn't mean to do that right over top of them. I didn't know where they were. And then I'm just going to top all of this with some additional dry bedding. And what I'll try to do is when we do our updates, we'll just kind of push this to the side so that it doesn't get too much of this mixed in until we start seeing babies because it's going to make it too hard to know what's going on. But a nice thick layer of bedding is always a good choice if you're having any sort of um, bug problems. So I'm going to get a little bit more of this, top this off, keep bumping the camera, I'm sorry, and we'll hop over and look at the red wiggler bin. 
Okay guys, so here we are with the Red Wigglers. I opened this bin and had flies come out in droves. So I'm gonna have to definitely put out some traps today. I haven't seen them in my other bin, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I definitely think the lots of extra bedding is gonna be important for sure. So um, if you see any flies, that's what they are. There's a freshly laid cocoon right there. At least the worms are doing okay. This bin's a little bit more moist than the European bin was. It's um, kind of flaking apart a little bit better, probably because um, the worms have worked through it. And there's a wisp right there. Another cocoon. Each adult worm can lay up to three cocoons per week. So technically, these guys could have laid us a ton of cocoons. There's another one right there. But they've just been taking their time. I probably won't have to add any water to this one. This, this bin is plenty wet. Um, just funny how that happens. Certain bins dry out and certain ones hold the moisture a bit better. Also might be, these are stacked up, so it could have something to do with that. There's another cocoon. There's another one. Oh, finally, some action. I'm happy. Every week has been getting better and better, so we must be doing something right. And we've invited in some flies, unfortunately, so we'll take care of that for sure. But all of this material looks really good. Um, definitely a little on the moist side, but definitely with adding all this extra bedding I'm going to put in today, that should take care of that, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's another cocoon. I'm not keeping track. You guys are going to have to tell me how many we spotted. But it's looking really nice. It's another one. All of these cocoons are freshly laid. They're yellow. So um, these worms have been getting busy, it looks like. So that's encouraging for sure. So I'm going to do the same thing over here that we did with the European bin. Um, you know, feed up the corner, pile on some dry bedding on top and uh, close it up and then we will take a look at the African night crawlers. Okay, so to finish up, we're gonna take a look here in the African night crawler bin. There were not quite as many flies in this one, but there were still flies, so none too pleased about that. I just can't stand once they start making their way out of the bin, which once you open the lid, you invite them to leave. Then you have to track them down and swat them or catch them. Hoping to spot some cocoons in here. This is the only bin I believe we have not found cocoons in. So. Gonna just give it a nice once over just like the other bins. And um. Well that would be a wisp. So apparently we have had cocoons and we missed them. So that's super exciting. Is that a cocoon as I'm saying that? It is. That's a cocoon right there. Awesome, guys. So that's excellent news. We have a wisp and you see a fly over there um, and a cocoon. Not seeing any more cocoons, but let's see. Smells nice and earthy in here. You can see some mites climbing around in the compost.
There's another cocoon. So definitely finally getting to work. We have some wisps. We've got some cocoons. Even here in the African Nightcrawler bin, which they're always a little bit trickier to spot in here. So um, that's excellent, excellent news. So I'm not going to make this update any longer. There's another wisp. So what I'm going to do is uh, feed this off camera and we'll leave it for another week and we'll come back and see if some of these cocoons start hatching. So let me know what you think, guys. Drop your comments below. Like this video, subscribe for some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. I hope you have a great day.